Hey everyone, how's it going? I am Zerikhan and I am back once again. Last week, I was watching one of Gamer Nexus's videos and one of the topics that caught my attention was an upcoming handheld gaming PC called the Orange Pi Neo. The specs and hardware were discussed, of course, but what interested me was the software. It's running a version of Manjaro called Manjaro Gaming Edition. Now, for those who might not know, Manjaro is a Linux distro that's based off of Arch Linux, which is also what SteamOS 3.0 is based off of. Manjaro was the first Linux distro that I used, and I was able to use it effortlessly across several different computers. It was only when I had problems with my newest laptop, which I have recently come to think might actually be a problem with the laptop and not the OS itself, that I switched to Garuda Linux, specifically the Dragonize Gaming Edition. Seeing another gaming-centered version of Linux is, to me, welcome, because it can help remove any barriers that gamers might have when trying out Linux. And don't get me wrong, it's not going to fix certain problems like some anti-cheats not working in Linux, and at the end of the day, underneath the hood, it's not doing anything special that you couldn't do with any other version of Manjaro or another distro altogether with regards to using programs like Wine, Lutris, or anything else. But it has those programs already downloaded, so users don't have to set those up when they start it for the first time. It makes it closer to plug and play than if you used any other version of Manjaro. I'm curious about what the page means when it says that users can effortlessly update their system via the Steam UI. It mentioned Discover, which is the KDE GUI package manager, but I don't completely understand how Steam UI is going to do something we haven't seen before, or maybe I'm just overthinking this. One interesting thing is that this technically isn't even the first gaming edition of Manjaro. I was looking to see if Manjaro had already released this version, and sadly, they haven't. The Orange Pi Neo will be the first release for this. But someone did make an unofficial gaming version some years ago. This was a modified Manjaro XFCE version, but it came installed with different gaming and editing software, as well as some emulators. You can actually still download it today on SourceForge, but I wouldn't recommend it. It's pretty much a dead project. The last updated version came out in February 2019. This official version should definitely have much longer support, and I hope that the ISO is available to download on Manjaro's site alongside the other versions. I'm very interested in checking the gaming edition out, and I would like to try it out without having to buy an Orange Pi Neo. Heck, this would probably nudge Valve to release a Steam 3.0 ISO for download so people can use it on their own computers, but maybe that's just wishing for too much. Either way, I'm very interested in this and will keep my eyes out on both the Orange Pi Neo and Manjaro Gaming Edition. I already like that we have more handheld PCs in the market, but having more Linux options makes it even better to me. This serves as another entry point for people to try it out for themselves and possibly see that maybe it's not as scary or difficult as they had believed. But that will do it for today. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. As usual, I appreciate it. One quick announcement. Last week I realized that this channel crossed the 10 year threshold in January. So I want to do a little something to celebrate. This Saturday, I'll be doing a live stream to do some gaming, look at a few of my older videos to see how things have changed, and give away a few game codes. It'll start roughly around 1 p.m. Eastern Time, so come stop by if you're interested. I'll make a community post if anything changes by then. So until next time everyone, I am Zarakhan signing off. Have a good one.